There we go. We're getting some people on here, uh, Matt. Uh, welcome everybody to the show. Hello, everybody. We've got Jay Prusa and uh, and the Chatterbox nine seventy one. Kate, welcome to the show. WRXNFX. That's a job. Boy, Iron Hammer twenty. Always good to see you on. Thanks for joining. Blue Jays nineteen fifty four. Matt, you gonna say hi to a couple people? Yeah. Hello. I can't. It's hard to to get the jam going and also say something. Well, I mean, professional skin. No, that singing a song is a whole difference. No. It's a whole different level. I've heard Johnny Cash enter back and forth with the crowd. Practice. Monster, Monster Sparky. <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. We have a great show for you tonight. We have a, a lot of products and a lot of games for you to play today. Yeah, but we're going to have a little bit of a, of a technical issue. Okay, we're going to tell you that right now. Apparently, we're, we wanted to try something a little bit different today, but it's um, not exactly going to work out for those of you on Instagram. But someone said nice pants. That's been oh, that's, oh these are, these me are, or Josh? These are workhorse uh, pants. Someone said, I get snowing. Workhorse? You mean? It's, it's snowing on it. Sorry. Is, this, is it snowing yeah. on it? The, uh, <laughs> these are, these are not I workhorse. swear I used my head and shoulders today. These, I don't know what you mean. Uh, these are... Um, not workwear. What am I, what no, you're, you're 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 talking to mascot okay. workwear. Mascot. Yes, that's that is it, what this mascot. is here. Yeah. Mascot. I'll we'll show that's you guys some of that later on today. Um, but here's the issue. I'll just explain it just now, okay? So normally we have our graphics that come up, and you guys are able to see certain graphics on Instagram for the for the for the actual show, uh, and some of the questions that we have and things like that. There may be a problem with that with our graphics. We're trying to figure that out for you, but there may be a problem with it. If there is a problem, we will fix it. Or, or you could alternately go to Amazon uh, Live, Amazon Live, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, Facebook. Yeah, go to those accounts if you have them, because uh, you'll see the graphics up and uh, be able to play there just as well. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll 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 walk you through it here. We'll tell you what the graphic is. We'll explain it. Matt's gonna do a really good job. No, that. Josh is you guys know Josh. I'm looking forward to Matt's explanation. Yeah. Now let's a one on number. One. So just in case you're just here for the first time, we are. I am Matt. This is Josh. We are what tools inside. Uh, on this platform, you are able to win prizes. We have all kinds yeah. of great tools, uh, things for you guys games. to win, games to play. Uh, Facts. When you play the game with us, you randomly correct, uh, give, give an answer, and if it's correct, then uh, then you, you will be randomly, randomly chosen. Randomly chosen uh, from the behind. So it's not the like the first person or anything like that. It's like a random choice. It's just gonna right. be kind of just randomly grabbed out of the, out of the correct ones. Okay. We want to make sure that it's nice and fair for everyone. Um, which was open to Australia. Yeah, you know what? That's uh, Amy Gazway. Gazway. Gaz yeah, you know what? It's just the sh shipping alone would cost us thousands of dollars to ship these prizes We're to Australia. We're better off to buy our own boat. Yeah, we probably should. We should. I think we should do that. Let's look into it. Well, look, let's get into our first game. This is, a, this is a lot of fun. We love doing these games. And our first game is going to be uh, it's a, it's a, uh, uh, a stinger brush. A stinger brush. It's going to be a trivia question. What? Yeah. All right. right. So, so. The... Okay. So we will need our trivia question. Mark, go ahead and read it off to you us. You have to read it off to us. We don't have the graphics on our Instagram. It's not working right for us. So hey. So, we need the question. Okay, I'm gonna come and read it to you guys. This is gonna be awkward, but we'll do our best. <laughs> All right. Which of these is untrue? Now uh, pay close attention. Yeah. A. In Africa, a red door symbolizes a time of mourning. Can you see it now, Josh? I can see it here, but it's not on Instagram. Uh, okay, then I can go over there and do it. Yeah. Okay. So, which which of these is untrue? A. In Africa, a red door symbolizes a time of mourning. B. In the Civil War, a red door meant that the house was a safe home for slaves trying to escape. C. In Scotland, a red door has traditionally meant that their home is mortgage-free. Or D, in China, a red door symbolizes good luck. So which of these uh, is untrue? Uh, that's interesting. Now, okay, so which is untrue? Which one of these is untrue? That's the critical thing. Is now, we're going to... untrue? Yeah. All so right. we're going to have to read those again. So, um, so you stay here. I don't think it's good that you move because it pauses the video. Yeah, it pauses it. So you just keep that. I hope everybody... Yeah, see, it says pause. I'm going to read them again from over here. We're going to roll with this. 
All right, guys, remember that uh, I'm not going to read these, uh, these for you, but if you can, jump over to Facebook, YouTube, or Amazon Live, and you'll be able to see these. A lot uh, better. A lot better. So here we go. Here's our questions. Which of these is untrue? In Africa, a red door symbolizes the time of mourning. B, in the Civil War, a red door meant that the house was a safe home for slaves trying to escape. C, in Scotland, a red door has traditionally meant that their home is mortgage-free. Or D, in China, a red door symbolizes good luck. So, A, B, C, or D, put your answers in now for your chance to win. That's right. I, now, I don't need to know the answer. No, I, I, I don't know the I answer. I know the answer. You know I the answer. It. I saw it. Oh, okay, good. Right. Thank goodness. Now, I'm just going to no give clue. people a few minutes to... Uh, to uh, I've got my phone there, Matt, would you? Okay. <laughs> and so, uh, the answer is a, This is a mess here today? I is, can't believe uh, it. Was A, was uh, something about Africa. That's it. So, the, yeah, Africa, the one, that, the one that talked about Africa being... Uh, oh, what was it now? i got to remember. He's running around. Something about, yeah, in Africa, red door. No, you can't do that, Dar. From now on, you have to stay on that because it goes paused for the video. They don't see us and or hear us, I don't even think. Right. So we can't go over to our graphics like we were planning. I thought on Instagram we could do that. We could switch between and, and the graphics come up. Yeah, we're well, supposed to, but they changed it. But it's not that. working on yeah, it. Evidently, yeah. they changed it. So we're going to do it for our best from, from this uh, direction. So the answer, of course, was A. a. Now, we're waiting for a winner here from uh, from Kate. But what we're talking about is the Stinger Brush. Where is it? Oh, wait, I got a winner here, Matt. It's, it's uh, Brian Adams, 8789. Brian, come on. Yeah, maybe the very Brian Adams. It may very well be. It, Welcome, it is, Brian. I hope you give this to a friend because you can clearly afford to buy your own brushes. Yeah, Summer of a 69, it was awesome. Awesome show. Thank you for that song. You were never there. You weren't even born. I was. Well, I wasn't 69. I wasn't born. This is the Stinger brush. This is the brush that has that uh, patented tip. These uh, brish bristles are a little stiffer. Yeah. Um, and they go up on an angle like that so you can cut into corners, make it a really nice uh, sharp edge. And this is a, like an aluminum uh, ferrule here, so that it's all full of resin, so the paint doesn't drip down inside when you're cleaning it and everything else. Beautiful brush, high quality brush. And this, I believe it's a, it's a, it's a three pack or something that they've, uh, they've won for that. Yeah. So congratulations, Brian Adams. You don't get to say that every day. No, that's nice. It would be yeah. nice if we could see the, the, the Amazon feed on this TV. Can you do that? Can we unplug I'd, that and plug it in? Probably not. Let's just keep this going. All right. So number two, the uh, we're going to go to game number two, and that's Iron Age. Name that Oh, we need, that way we can see the actual, right. the actual things, right? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, that's what we're saying, so that I can see, we can actually see the things. That might be the better... Yeah, well, if we can do that, but... All right, right, so so um, game number two is name that boot, right? Yes, name that boot. This is Iron Age boots. Um, uh, that's not going to work for Instagram. That's the issue. Why? Because they're not going to be able to see any of those boots. You see. Oh, all the pictures on Instagram. That's see, right. Instagram, Instagram threw a wrench in, and and uh, we can't put any of those those uh, those pictures in there. Right. I think we're going to have to uh, pause and reset. Yeah, we could. We could. Uh... Yeah, you'll have to go to the other platforms to actually win any of these and play them because you can't see them on Instagram anymore. You got to go to Amazon Live. Yeah, this is can, a real you disaster. Can, you can swipe up, and on uh, on the on the stories, or you can go to your your Facebook page or your YouTube page, and follow us there, and play the game there. That way, you get a chance to to actually win. Because yeah. then we can actually see, uh, they can actually play. Um, so, let's, the problem is, Mark, we can't even see. Yeah, like because of the graphic, the way it's working out, we won't be able to see and explain so it to them either. Let's plug in the, uh, we're going to plug in the TV so we can see. Right. Right, okay. All right, where's my remote? All right, so bear with us a moment. Um, I, sorry for everybody who's watching on Instagram. Let's switch yeah. over to the other platform. So try getting over to the other platforms. We're going to, we're going to, I mean, we'll keep it going here on Instagram, but you won't be able to see or hear anything that we're. Right. The graphics that we're issue. doing it's going to be an issue for you so we're going to work uh we'll work that out right now and try and get to the bottom of this uh in a moment in a moment um but yeah here i mean here what's that uh, yeah, oh, no, act, out, act out the uh yeah it's very difficult no signal mark in the uh, yeah we're we apologize guys for the uh technical difficulty are you sure you don't want to just reset josh you don't think we should just stop and reset uh, if, we, if we can get this if we can actually get this working it's not though. All right, let's try that and see if we let's can get just it back move up over here to the. Uh... 
We're not plugged in, that's why. Right, there we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's try that. Remember, we got nine games, nine tools, nine products to win. Yeah. All right, so those who are joining us on other platforms, uh, here's a big mirror, we can just like reflect it. I know, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? People could see the monitor. All right, so here are your choices. Name the boot. Right. Right, so take a look at this picture here. And, uh, and and take a look. You have three choices to figure out the kind of boot that it is. Yeah. No, no, you can get that. I mean, you can pretty well guess that. I mean, you so can... what are the pictures? You got the, the transport truck. Yep. You got uh, somebody yelling or hollering. Oh, you got to just give them the answer. That's well, nice. Yeah. And then we got a chicken. Like a chicken. Is that a chicken or a monkey? It's a monkey. It's a monkey. A certain type of monkey. Yeah. It looks like he's yelling. Yeah. Also yelling. Yeah. What kind of monkey does that? So name, name that boot right now yeah. for those on uh, uh, who don't know we work with Iron Age and and Iron Age makes a very good quality boot put it up here and let's show them I'm gonna put them up this is I'm actually wearing haulers right now you can't see it oh and I gave the name away again oh so these are uh, these are what's great about Iron Age is they they design the boot give me your boot put it up to, here so I can, to, they, can show it. they can see it look at Matt it's like uh, my legs here no I, you're I'm good not that flexible but look see how nice that is it's a really nice boot oil resistant yeah Look at that oil resistant soles. Haulers. Like wa That's waterproof up to the up to the where the tongue separate. Just relax. They, they just sit they back and relax. Out. No, they got to see it. I don't like another man handling my, my feet look, like this. No. And then so the waterproof up to that point. Right. So that you can be in submerged even. Yeah. And the water is fine. So the, the game, the name was Hauler for those who guessed it. Yep. The winner is Greg Leong. Greg Leong. Greg Leong. Is correct. It was Hauler. And it, like I mentioned, the, the great thing about uh, Iron Age is they make boots for every trade that you might be in, whether it's uh, maybe you're a farmer or a, a welder, yeah, electrician. It's all you name it. They've got for that for that, especially for like welding and stuff like that, like the sparks and that they go on your boots. Yeah, so they really have some really great quality uh, products over there, guys. And really, if you sign up on their emails and stuff, you get some really good discounts oh, too. Yeah, sure. So make sure you uh, you get those. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, move on to game number three, Matt. Oh, wait, I got a winner, and that was already Greg Leong. So let's move to game number three. Are you sure you got the right winner? Yep, Greg Leong. Greg Leong, congratulations on uh, on winning those boots. You're going to love them. We'll get your size. There's only a size nine available for you. Yeah, so I hope that's what you are. your feet in. You no, know, we'll get you your size, bud. Send us a message, mm -hmm. and we'll uh, DM us, and we'll, and we'll, we'll get, you get, get you the right size. Information. Okay, so uh, game number three. Yeah. Let's bring it up and see what it says. Name that song right so you can't again yeah so, so this will be tricky for you no, no I, we I got see, we have the graphic I, I see it here we can see it we can walk through it all right so um no matt go ahead lead, 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 give this, them the clue that's it over there right on that's that side it, same it, one that's it why is there the same does it matter it's give them the clue yeah okay no. the clue is so here's what we're gonna give you i can't see it anymore something happened something changed um, you have to go back to the other, the other screen. Okay, thank you. So here's the clue to the um, name that song. to the name of the song. Okay, you do it. Okay, uh, love you. Wish I this all above, but happiness and joy you wish and I. And I end. I end. I've dreamed you all have you hope and I kind you treat life over. Yeah. Am I having a stroke? I, you must be because you, because this is very strange. Why? And he wrote he read it completely wrong. I'll read it. Okay. Love you wish I this all above but happiness and joy you wish I end. I've dreamed you all have you hope I and kind you treats life hope I. So this is Yoda singing? No, it's the song backwards. So you got to yeah. name that song. Think about the song. Think about what it is. So, or just read the clue backwards. Or read, yeah, but they can't read the clue backwards because they can't see it on Instagram. Oh, so the rest right. of the platforms will got yeah. it. But uh, yeah, so that's what it is. Love you, wish I this all, but <laughs> above, true. but happiness and joy you wish I end. Do of like dream <laughs> you all and Whitney Houston. Maybe that'll help. Uh, you hope I and kind you treats life. Hope I. Uh huh. I like it. Now, if you can only... All right. This, the answer... Now, everybody, the, 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 the answer is... I will, I will always, always love, love you. you. Now... And I... 
We love you. Now, you should have done it. You. If you would have done it in that voice, maybe you would have figured it out. Right? I know, but I couldn't do it backwards like that. In that voice, I would have not known where to go. <laughs> I couldn't even read it backwards like that. I know. It was a nightmare. Right. But, so that's that's name that song. Now, Matt, what are they winning for that? That, my friends, they are winning these he's, absolutely... He's still in backwards. I am still in Friends Eye. Friends Eye. The Tunes ISO Pro. Isotunes Pro. Let me go back here where you can see it. Now, the, now these are the 2.0s, if I'm correct. That's I'm right. Not mistaken, right. That's right. I get, where can I? Where's, where's your focus? Right here. There's the focus. Get the focus in the right spot. These are the Isotunes Pro. These are awesome. They just hang over your neck like that. They fit over your ear. They con they con they uh, conform to the, the shape of your ear. They go in. They look just like that in there. And these are noise isolating. Um, Noise isolating earphones, That's earbuds. Right. That's right, earbuds. Now they have a patented technology that um, um, the stuff that squeezes into your. Everybody's had to put their old dad's old uh, uh, ear earphones in their ears, right? Where you squeeze it and you put them in, and they protect your ears. That's how they look. They're pretty cool. Yeah, but these ones here are, are awesome because you squeeze them and they put, you put them in your ear canal and they have different sizes, right? And then but. When you put them in your ear, then they wrap around your ear. Or I got more earwax on here than anything else. Yeah, you keep those. Yeah, it's got like a little spongy section here. Oh, I got to back up to this. Where is the focus? The focus yeah, is yeah, way yeah. out here. Sorry, guys. But you just you squish it like that, and it just it just forms to the size that you that you want it to. Yeah. See, See that. But uh, yeah, it goes right in your ear canal. You can uh, change your songs on it. You can raise and lower the volume. You can answer phone answer calls. Phone calls even. Yeah. Hang up on a phone call. Yeah, sure, if it's going that bad. Whatever it is. Screaming in your ear. But 2.0s. These are awesome. You should have a winner there. Um, uh, yes, I do. The name is Grashelli. 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 Congratulations. Congratulations. I don't know where I'm these are that. on, which platform these are on. So, whichever platform you are on and winning, make Be sure, sure you're sending us yeah, a, make message, sure I don't have any. a private right. message. Um, and we'll get your. Detail information and send you these. These are like 120 bucks. These they're, yeah, they're uh, and they're my favorite. I love the style of those. They hang nicely over my uh, over my neck. Cater to Kate loves my shirt. Cater to Kate loves my shirt. Thank you very much for saying so. You always look dashing. Uh, yeah, I love it. It hides my chubbiness. No, oh. come on. You're right. I, why you're, am I so hard on myself? You, you're festively plump. There's nothing wrong. Fest with that. Festively plump. Now so there's no. T it's not festival time. Now, That's the problem. Let's say okay. Moving on to game number four. Uh, and this is. Uh, Pictionary, Matt. Pictionary. And you're going to draw. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. Cool. He's, have you guys noticed? I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but every single question, he's, he's, he says it, and then he then it gives it to me to do. No, no. Come on. I'll hold it. I'm going to hide my that's, face. That's about as good as you are for anything. All right, now. All right, so now you all can play with this one. This should be easy enough that you can be able to see it um, when I'm doing it, right? So, now, uh, Mark, get rid of that answer. Why are you giving them the answer? As quick as you can. He totally gave you guys the answer. Maybe there you are. Now everybody else can everybody else can participate. Instagram and stuff can participate. Right, but now I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you saw the answer with the rest of the nation. I know. I can't believe that. I can't. You know, we are just a crack. Uh, our team over here, unbelievable. All right. So <clears throat> obviously water. Yes. Why is it obvious? Huh? I don't know. That could be clouds. Can you hold? Your job is to hold the board steady. I'm hitting. I'm holding it steady. No, you're not. You're He's not. angry, folks. Someone no, drowning. And people got it. <laughs> there's, okay. some, there's some smart people out there. This what is drawing. There's lots of people I didn't see. Right, but what is this now? This part I don't here. Know. A hot dog in the ocean. No, I don't know. A log. But what's, I forget the word. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, yeah. How can you forget the word already? A tube. A spider. I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know what else to, uh, and then there's a guy's hand here. Holding it? No, I don't, the, <laughs> it's, this is the, uh, <laughs> this is under, uh, under uh, ocean. This is yeah, ocean yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. So I what do you call this? I don't know. It's a sub, uh, uh, submarine. Uh, it's a submarine, driftwood. obviously. Driftwood. Obviously this is a submarine here. Oh, okay. With a periscope. I see. That would have been a better. Oh, picture. that helped right there, didn't it? And then this here is a light beam. Okay. So. So something underwater. A man grasping a flashlight. I'm gonna just stop <laughs> you here. I'm not gonna let you continue. 
That's a submersible flashlight. <laughs> let me just, let me just, uh, let me, you we, want to, we want to demonstrate you for you. You want to just demonstrate, there you are. Yeah, okay, let me hold that. Where is so that? Here's, here's the, uh, this is from Unilight. These guys make awesome lights. They actually really do. They, these are these are fantastic. We've had the privilege of being able to go through a whole bunch of different lights that they have. So we're excited to be able to give you guys this one. This is an opportunity for you to win this one here. This is the submersible light. See? So this is aluminum, all aluminum. Uh, drop this in water. Casing. It's in the water though. You see that? Well, can okay, we show, I'll show you that it's this, not... Put it right in there so they can see it. Well. Look. Uh, prove that it's water, man. Prove it to them. Yeah, it's in the water. You see it it's still working in there. So this is um, <laughs> this is aluminum aluminum casing. It's got uh, it's very like rugged, like military grade uh, ah! nice, um, housing on that. And and the beam, it's got such a bright bright beam. I and can you've tell got, you, I can tell you from personal experience. Yeah, so it's got like uh, no, blinding you. Uh, I can't blind you guys. I want to just quickly show you. But they've really come a long way with LED lights these days, and Unilights are such a high quality light. These are not cheap. These are not like a cheap uh, throw yes. together product. You've got They're, the string all wet. Yeah. Now, I have really a nice. Matt. It's a, it's a Michael Molsky. Michael, Michael Molsky. Congratulations. You won this, uh, this great pocket light from uh, Unilight. Yeah. Sorry, I tried to get you. I hope my drawings didn't offend. No, that was good. You did a nice job. Um, but yeah, like you know, it's I'm not really I've never I didn't I wasn't an artist to begin with. So never have been, never claimed to be. No, now that's nice. Complaint. That's a good quality light. Uh, you, you know, drop proof, dust proof, waterproof, all these things. Uh, one that you can count on in the darkest tunnels when all other light fails. All right now, now, what we want? Nope, I got to move over more. That's it. A little bit more distance if you. Yeah. All right, so so going on to game number five. Game number five, which this... is a trivia from. Kinepex, right? Right. Yes. And what are this is actually called? Are you smarter than a fourth grader? Okay, so uh, this is gonna be a fun game. Show. Well, this is a knockoff. This is a fifth grader. I see. So we didn't want to copy them. No, we didn't want to get sued. So we went with fourth grader. All right. Now this is uh, should be easy for everyone to to answer this question. We'll ask the question. So those of you who can't see the graphic, you'll understand it really quick clearly. However, what I want you to know is make sure you're telling people to follow right now or let them know to come to come and watch us because if you're chosen to win right you're the one that's going to choose the uh, next winner another winner right so, so two I, winners on this game right now what are they winning they will be winning they're winning the knipex uh diagonal cutters, the di di diagonal, those are diagonal really, cutters really good cutters uh the problem with is we currently have those on a photo shoot at the moment and not yeah, here in the are, studio the Kinepex, uh these are not them but they're from Kinepex. oh isn't that so you're just gonna start just randomly showing them pliers from well, i want them to see that it's from the actually from Kinepex. yeah they make i'm sorry sure yeah sure sure let's show them that that's what they look like there they're, they're diagonal cutters they're like an everyday go-to for uh, electricians they they're they're a uh, heavy duty ones though they're yeah. really strong they do a great job all the Knipex pliers and, and their cutters and their tools are very impressive and they're made to last. They're made for the tradesmen. So right. here's the questions. Are you smarter than a fourth grader? Right. So here's your clue. 63 degrees is a, a right angle, B, acute angle. An acute angle. An acute angle. C, an obtuse, like Matt, angle. Or D, a straight angle. So there you go. 63 degrees is what? A, B, C, or D? Right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle, or straight angle? Put your answers in for your chance to win. A, B, C, or D. And that, my friends, will get you a chance to win those yeah, diagonal now, pliers. Did you actually know what it was? It's Absolutely. 63 degrees. It's very simple to know. Is it though? Yeah. You want me to know? I'm going to tell you the trick? Wow. Well, sure. Let's hear, it. A Let's trick. hear the trick. 90 degrees is straight. 90 degrees. So 90 degrees, you know, is straight up, right? So like 90 degrees. Then you're going to have different ones. You're going to have obtuse, straight, and acute. The reason why it's acute is it's the smaller of the numbers. It's acute number. The bigger number is obtuse. So acute is like between 0 and 90 degrees. After that is obtuse. So there's your. The, where does the right fall in? 
Right, it's 90 degrees. It's straight up and down. I hope you. I hope your wife taught your kids math. No, but that's. I hope that helps you guys in all your stair building. Now let's see enterprises. the answer. B. The answer was. So Matt was right. Certainly was a cute. A cute number. A very cute number. Yeah, isn't that neat? It's a nice way to remember. It's it. a good way to remember. I like it. And uh, for that, you won a pair of the diagonal cutters from Knipex. Again, German quality the tools. The hardened steel. Now, remember this. Once we find our winner, which we will get an announcement in just a moment. I think I just heard it chiming in. Maybe, possibly. Here, let me You look. will have to choose the next winner. So two of you are winning. Okay, I have a winner. Okay, who is it? RSP is our winner. RSP is our winner, or our first winner. Now, RSP, I think he's on Amazon. Uh, pick another winner. Right now. That's live on Amazon that you, that's been commenting. RSP. You gotta choose Pick yep. a different winner. Or if, are they sure they're from Amazon? Do you know for sure? That's what, that's what I'm assuming. Okay, so they are from Amazon. Make sure you choose that right now. Choose your choose your uh, your secondary winner. Anybody else that's in the chat? It has so to be are, someone that's there right now. These are cheap pliers. No, no, no. You these won't are, go back from Kinepex once you start using them. No, you will not. They're yeah. designed for um, they're designed for tradesmen. So. If you're a DIYer or a homeowner, you're getting a very solid pair of ply. Last pair of pliers you buy. That's okay, Mike Sarkowski. So Mike Sarkowski is our second winner. So congratulations, RSP Mike. Picked. Mike Sarkowski. That was all done in in the chat on Amazon. So congratulations to you two. By the way, if you guys aren't over on Amazon, you you might want to try and go over there because it's a lot. It's a bigger screen. A little nice more big, a nice big uh, graphic yeah i see people talking stuff. you see all their things coming up at the bottom there so it's a nice spot all right congratulations to them uh for winning those and uh, thank you knipex for for putting that up knipex fantastic tools you guys oh, yeah. check them out now matt was smarter than a fourth grader let's move on to number the game number not six. by much this one is guess the feature again this is a graphic that we will des describe to those who cannot see it right um, to the best of our ability. Oh, something, something's happened to Dara in the back. She almost fainted or something back there. All right, so here's guess the feature. Uh, a, a man is uh, is uh, uh, Matt. Why don't you act this out? What? No, dirting. no, you uh, you act it out. Darting. So I don't even know what the game is. Gonna like, guess the feature. So what are we guessing? It's a, it's a, it's for a tool from Grip, right? Okay. Okay. So one of the things is a man is is sprinting very quickly. Oh my God! There's no way. Is anybody getting this? He's very quick. And then there's a there's a glass ball that's very clear to see through. Okay, and I see. Clear, I can, get you. So you very clear. See through the ball. So the quick guy is very and it's very clear. Yeah. And then there's a large nose. Okay, so you got. Like you. So did you manage to get your picture I, up there? I took that, a picture, a close up. That's actually a cute little nose on there. I don't know why they would have. It's not large at all. And then yours. Uh, and then there's a latch of sorts. Like a latch, like a like a lock locking system latch. So there's a clear, <clears throat> there's a quick clear nose latch. That's basically what you're seeing. That's the answer, essentially. So write that in there. Quick clear nose latch, and I'm I hope you guys get it. Yeah. For those, I'm really giving you guys. This. We're helping you here because of our technical difficulties. But let's show them what we're playing for, Josh. So this is awesome. This is a quick clear nose latch. You have we. <laughs> I have no That's idea a, what the matter with You that. are playing for a quick clear nose latch. It's it's a, a it's it's a new new it's product for a, for masks. A nose ring. It helps for masks because it holds it on your nose. No, it doesn't though. Now here you go, Matt. Show them this. Get close up. This is the uh, new red tool line from uh, Griprite. Okay, awesome tool. Has a nice rubber comfort grip. Has the uh, the belt hook here. The uh, swivel, easy swivel. Um, for the uh, airline, uh, you have this directional on top here for the air pressure to come out. Yeah. So it's not blowing in your face. Yeah. Uh, this is again. This is narrow. This is the narrow crown stapler. Okay. So you load your staples in. It's not wide, so it's very very narrow tip. Yeah. See, see that? What does that have to do oh. with the uh, the, the clear quick, nose? The quick clear nose. Uh, lap. Right here. I just told you right there. That's it there. I see. Okay. In case there's a problem. You get it. Sometimes you hit it. You, you, you land. You, you jam up against something. Yeah. It will be in there. You just disconnect it really quickly. Take that out of there. So this is an expensive tool as well, isn't it? Yes. Very, very nice tool. tool. Uh, Matt, you, did you tell me what the, the uh, multi-shot uh, uh, feature? Oh, uh, the rapid fire. Rapid fire. Bump fire, they call it. 
So uh, that bump fire is right on the trigger. There's a little little button on the trigger that you put one way or the other. So you can do single fire mode one at a time, or you can go bump fire. You just hold the trigger down and pop, 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 pop. How did that go? Pop, 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 pop. But it's like a, it's like doing in Spanish? it's like doing a brad nailer, but it's a little staple. Great. Right? So it's gonna grab it's gonna grab better. It's gonna hold better, but not like a big giant wide crown staple. You know, when you're doing really big crown. You need the big crown stapler because right. it's going to really hold. Uh, but those narrow little ones there are great for the, for that kind of thing. All right, I'm getting a winner coming in right now. I can see you're typing. So congratulations to our winner on this uh, one because it, it's a really nice one. It's Rubian David. Rubian David or David Rubian. Right? So that's congratulations. Congratulations, David. David. You won that crown uh, stapler. Stable, narrow crown stapler from Gripright. All right, next game. All right, so the next game is number seven. Um, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to listen to Matt rattle off and myself rattle off and, and give you a tail. And then you have to decide which one is bluffing. Yeah. And you guys know for a fact that I'm the kind of guy straight I like to just, I'm, yeah, I'm a very straight shooter. I tell people how, what it, you know, how it is. I make it clear. So uh, let me get, why don't you let me go ahead and get started. Please. Please. So back uh, my early days, just, you know, not far out of high school. I used so to young clean... then. So this is, a lot, this is going back half a century well no not really not far back but i used to do a lot of uh grocery store cleaning right so you get up in the middle of the night and you go clean the grocery stores with, the these, middle? with these machines you know uh um, they didn't have machines that far back no they did mop and the broom. no some a lot of it was mopping putting the stripper down and the right. wax <clears throat> cleaning it all up the automatic machine well i had this big automatic you walk behind the machine and you walk around and it cleans the floor there's a lot of surface area you got to clean floor cleaner they called it and you and um as I came around one corner, I hit a display, and Chef Boyardee cans fell down, smashed all over the place. Several of them burst Chef open. Chef Boyardee. Chef Boyardee. I remember Ravioli. Mean, how high were they when they fell? Because they, they were, were high. I don't even know how. Open. I don't even know how the guy got them that high. They're like bursting a, open on the floor. Yeah, the ones on the top that fell all the way to the bottom burst, That's and I literally had and I had that red tomato soupy stuff all over the all over the. Uh, all over the ground, I had to clean. Made a giant mess. What a mess. Very unhappy manager. So you were fired. No, I wasn't. Your first job. No, because I cleaned the floor so nicely, they, they, they never would ever do that. Please don't believe him. Now, that's here, here's here's a real story if you'd like to know. Um, <laughs> the, uh, that's the that's the wrong picture over there. But the um, back in the day, uh, I took my kids to. Um, Disneyland, not Disneyland, Legoland. Right, right, right. Legoland. Yeah. And uh, th this was back when Legoland was like open for the first year. So this is going back, you know, four four years ago or whatever. My kids were just kids. Yeah. Kids. No, I was open longer than that, but okay. I don't think so. But um, we went. Uh, we went there, and I forget. I'm trying to remember which princess it was. It was. No, he's trying uh, to create the idea. No, no. Mine, it right? was. Uh, and I guess it doesn't really matter. It was a princess. Anyways, Adley, my uh, my oldest. She went up to this little side because they have statues everywhere. This is long-winded for like Not, a true oh, story. It just started. So they just got there and uh, they wanted to take pictures of it. And my wife so and, with the statue. My wife and my daughter and I and I took a picture. Yeah, you, know, you take pictures by the statue. So like, is it like a Lego statue? Is that what you mean? Like it's a, a Lego statue that they build out of Legos. And so my wife had my daughter and and, and she leaned on the, the arm there, while she had a hold of the thumb. And I don't know if you've ever listened like lifted kids away from things. She busted off the entire hand. The hand and half of the forearm fell and shattered into a thousand pieces. Literally, probably. Literally into a thousand pieces. And I know though how much time that took. And I we just took off and left. Your heart just sank. I and thought you ran. we were going to be banned from Legoland for the rest of our lives. But you know what the problem is? Anything. It's very, very believable. It's Josh and his and family, like his children, child. like very believable. You want to believe that? That's Yesterday true. he was galloping through this whole uh, shop here and knocked our over family. our camera. I know. Big boots. So I believe it. So who was bluffing? Was it me or was it Josh? That's what you have to answer. And we'll give you a minute to think it over before I move the picture over and let you know. Enter your guess. Now, was I lying? Matt or Josh? my Legos? Very believable. Or was Matt with his big Chef Boyardee can that fell from three feet and shattered into a million pieces? No, you said shattered. See, you're getting them all mixed up now. What are we playing for? Oh, we the, the producer wants us hey, to shut want... it and get right to the, what we're playing for. We're playing for... Um... Stack racks. Oh, uh, yes. Let's show them that. This is Matt's favorite tool. This is the stack rack. This is awesome. These are designed for uh, painting doors. You paint one side, you 
flip it over right away, you and paint you the other there. side, and you stack them up. This is what they look like. They're, they're made of plastic. You have a little screw here that screws into the door on both sides. Um, absolutely fantastic product. Makes your time or your job go so much faster. Saves you so much time. And then the time is money, of course. So these no, it doesn't are the, just uh, do that, rack. man. It does trim. It does uh, doors and mullions. It does all sorts of different things. It's a, what, a four-in-one tool? Mullions. Yeah, it allows you to do that. Not mullions. Uh, um, you you can it? paint the mullions that go in between your windows. No. Mortising. Thank you. Mortising. It has mortising the doors. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, who is bluffing, Mark? Why don't you show us a picture of who is bluffing? Just you got it, bud. You got it. You're, set, you're set up. That's, That's it. it. Good Everybody, job. Where did you get that picture from? Yeah. <laughs> just, just one random picture? You get, I have a better one. I'll take one now. <laughs> That's not better. Yeah, it was better than that thing. Well, whatever the Josh was, of course. I was uh, bluffing. My daughter wouldn't wreck a Yeah, princess. she would if it wasn't epoxied. The epoxy, those things solid, and they fill them with concrete. You're telling me that the, the, the Chef Boyardee's cans blew up? Yeah, one can hit the pressure. bottom and, and popped. And it had it well, all over Matt was telling the truth. Mess. I was bluffing, so congratulations to Tony Velthius. Vel he's the Velthius. Tony Velthius. He is the wealthiest man I know. Tony Veltius. Tony Veltius. Congratulations now, on that one. Congratulations, you won these. These are $90 value. No, they're $79 value. $80 value. And uh, you're going to love them. Now, moving on. Game he does one. his research, guys. He does his research on every product. Now, this next game is, is actually going to be a lot of fun. For some. The product is from Demos. I don't like to sell myself like this, but... This should be I, fun. I Bring it... We're going to bring our table in because we're going to need our table for this mess. Okay, let's bring a table in here. Okay, you didn't clear off any of the stuff so people can't see oh, it. Anyway, this, is, this is from uh, DMOS, Matt. Demos. Demos. No. Okay, so I, I've seen some very unique shovels in my day, but this is absolutely fantastic. Okay, this is the uh, oh, you're talking about it, shovel, you? and, it's a, and it's also a rake. It's, 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 it's awesome. A rake. Where's yeah, my... Sure, I, had, sure. I had a little thing here. I had a little thing, and all you guys had to do was leave it here so I could talk about stuff on it. I had it, it was all ready to go. There you go, look at this now. You gotta. I, what I hate about scrapers in Canada back living at home was that the plastic would break. Yeah. Give me right, one it second. Would get cold, I'll be right back. I want to show you guys shatter. something. Well, not the case. With what? This. this is hardened. Oh, what is this? Steel, Matt? Now it's Somebody took my paper. Going. There it is, is there. That's it it's there. Right there. Isn't it? Behind you. Yeah, here it is. This is what I wanted to show yeah, you. He's panicking. He doesn't look. Okay, so he's putting it all together. This is actually really. This is like. Um, this is like aircraft aluminum. Yeah. It's really, really well built and it, very impressively built, but it, it gets so compact. And as you can see, the bottom's all scraped up a bit because I was just using it down in the sand to see how well it really works. And it takes such a great scoop, and it's ergonomically. Uh, comfortable in your hand, the whole thing collapses down, so you That's can slide cool. it right underneath the seat of your car. It's awesome. These guys, so the DMOS stands for do my own stuff, but stuff is a different word. Do my own stuff. Do my own. Do my own stuff. Basically, for uh, the do-it-yourselfers. Right. For that mentality. That's the guys that uh, that built this. These guys are out of Wyoming, and so they know about snow. digging in hard dirt and and snow and and roughing it. And this is the kind of product. Where are you going with that, bud? I don't know. I'm just getting ready for our, our game here. Okay, but I just want to show them. Up there. Oh, they can't. Okay. That's why I put it up here. Um, but this is the kind of thing you want to have sitting underneath your seat of your truck or your car whenever you're going somewhere. You can dig yourself out of a real problem, real jam. But it's not flimsy. It's not some cheap thing. It's really solid. Back really like Back up. Back up. Okay, so here's what we got to do. We got a minute to win it. This is where Josh and I shine here. No, this is Matt. This is yours. Now, apparently. This is a game that somebody thought up. I put this here, and then they can see it. Yeah, oh, we're doing it. Should we should we should be filling it into this. That's what we should have done. So the shoveling. What you're gonna do is we're gonna. I guess we're gonna take. How to explain the game, Matt? Would you? We're gonna bite onto these spoons. Your teeth are strong enough. Yeah, I hope so. And we got. <laughs> Did you like? I got the, the your dentures. Yeah, I put the poly grip in. We're okay. So <clears throat> we got a scoop. This is cornflakes. Good old cornflakes in here. Okay. So we got to scoop out, and in Not one minute, free, by the way. You can see the timer up there on top of the alligator. Um, we got to scoop it, 
and whoever gets the most. Now, not scoop it with our hands, scoop it with our mouth. With our right? mouth, like that. Now, Josh, you remember, um, like this is, you got to do fair with this, okay? So don't get it all over the place. It's got to be in your bowl. It doesn't matter where it is. It's how much you have in your bowl. Is At the end, it matters. It. Okay? So don't worry about that. Down to the last thing. No and touching no this bowl. That's right. No touching the bowl and all that stuff. And bending it your way that's and all that right. stuff. Just deal with it like a man, right? Now, can you do it? These have been, mm. have these been washed? Well, I taste someone's uh, hand uh, hand sanitizer. sanitizer. All right, uh, yeah, watch for the clock. Long long you can see it. And here we go. Oh, I think it worked. My prediction, maybe about 10 cornflakes. Yeah, this is, gonna, this is going to be a mess. Here we go. Wait, wait. There we go. Where's that? Mmm. It's all Mmm. My neck. Oh, my God. That was a good one. He's the last one he scooped up and he cheated somehow. I don't know what. It's let me pretty see. close. I mean, that's pretty stinking close. That's a pretty close. Uh, but I think Josh has got a bit more. Josh has a bit more. I think you guys saw that he did a little bit more. Uh, I was a little bit aggressive. Yeah, he's a little more aggressive on that one. So we'll give it to him for that one. So if you chose Josh, now you got to eat that for cereal for tomorrow for cereal. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't be wasteful. Who comes up with these games? I don't know, but that I was teeth. good. That was good. Look, your teeth. There's nothing wrong with your teeth. So this is what you were playing for. You're playing for that shovel from Demos. These guys have an awesome shovel system. Now they, this is just one of their many shovels. We're going to show you a bunch more of them over the coming uh, coming days and weeks. But uh, fantastic collapsible shovel that you can put into your uh, vehicle. Well, you know what's even cool is you, if you have a Jeep or something that you have a, tri a tire on the back, right there, put it on the back of your tire and uh, you got your got it down and yeah, absolutely great. If someone's laughing, I don't know what for, but okay, it's good, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, really a great, great and very, very sturdy. I was really impressed with how strong and sturdy this thing is. All right, you got the desk out of the way. So who won There's that? No wheels Josh? on that thing. I had to, that's, that's all. Heavy. That's all. Yeah, a heavy. I had to pick that up and move it. All, all right, right. So who's who's? Uh, I'm waiting on a winner here. It's coming in. It's save that house. Save that house. Congratulations. You now have a shovel to help save your house. No. Congratulations. I'd like to that. know a little bit about that. Save that house. Yeah. Maybe tell us. Maybe send us a message. Save that. It's neat. All right. So who's our next? What's our next game? Okay, right. our last game. That's right. This game is uh, brought to you by Mascot Workwear. So now, tell I'm, wearing, about I'm actually wearing a pair of mascot pants right now. Now, let me move them up. Matt, go ahead and put that vest on. Oh, yeah, I'm going to so, show you guys so this one. These are really cool. I wanted to show you that, but it, these, these knee pads, you open up, and you actually can put padding in, in your knee. For, for knees, yeah. So if you're doing any kind of work on the floor, if you're doing tile work or uh, uh, concrete work or trim work, whatever the case is, and you're on your knees a lot, these are great. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys a vest that I think is the coolest vest. Coolest vest do, on the planet. I want you to do a runway walk and then a quick spin. Yeah. Runway and a quick spin. So when it's cold out, right? Oh, I got some information in the background. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. Big. Best. Now spin. You didn't do the quick spin. You're fired. Now that was way too much of a spin. That was like a Zoolander spin. But this is such a this doing. is such a nice vest from, yeah. from Mascot Workwear. So they're all about making sure that you wear, um, make sure that you're wearing uh, clothing that like in layers, right? So you can take off uh, different layers when it gets too hot. You have to have something that takes away the moisture from your skin, gets it away from you. Then you have an insulation layer that keeps the cold, and then you also have your outer layer that has to keep the weather away from you. 
right? That's the whole the whole kind of layer system that they have going on. Let me just ask you this. Why Look at this nice pocket right here. Who is responsible for putting this picture up and not hiding the team on the hat? What do you mean? The what question the whole... is, what, what football team does this mascot belong to? Is mascot the pants? It's the teams on the hat. <laughs> if you don't know this... How are people well, not... ID getting this? Right. Explain what it is. It's a, it's a symbol with a 4 and a 9 on it. And then it also has... It's because people are joining are, are also doing it... But... Yeah. Well, yeah, we're trying to explain it. Platforms. Yeah, but they're on other platforms, and then they're answering, they're, they're answering there, maybe. But yeah, here you go. Um, but yeah, look, you could have a vest like this. The, you're, what you're playing for right now is a $50 gift card. Here's a, here's a mascot a cool for those who aren't seeing the, the graphic. Uh, think of uh, Jerry Rice. Think of uh, back in the old days when they were really good. Uh, think of uh, Dan Marino, I think, was on that team, man. Eh? I don't know. No. no, he was the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins. Laces out, Dan. I don't remember. I'm a hockey man. So, now, um, but yeah, I love this vest. Like well, yeah, we know. You've said it. You've, it's, you've I just, been it's modeling. It's super comfortable. It's very, very comfortable. He doesn't want to take it off. I'm not taking it off. And then you can have, it's got this pocket here. Maybe throw your phone or whatever. Maybe um, a, a, vest, a vest in here. <coughs> Excuse me. A little, a little dust in there. All right. Now, this is from workwear. Now, Matt, what are they winning? Mascot workwear. Why, why is it so hard for you to remember mascot workwear? That's what I said, workwear. No, you just said workwear. Yeah. This is from workwear. That's so, that's like... Mascot. No name brand. Workwear. <laughs> mascot, workwear. Mascot, workwear. They make very high quality workwear. They do. I love these pants. Like, and nice. I have another pair of pants that we've, uh, that, that we've you showed, showcased before. in other videos. Really amazing pants. Very comfortable. Very wa uh, waterproof and water resistant. I love it. Now, yeah. the winner is... Oh, yeah. Let's have the oh, answer. Oh, yeah. San Francisco. There's the 49ers. Knew Everybody knew it. Because Josh is, this, is, uh, this is Josh's favorite team. It used to be. Was it back, really? Yeah, it used to be. Yeah. Back before I knew any different. <laughs> oh, I hope we don't have any 49ers yeah, fans. Just, you know. go? Come on. I'm yeah. a, I'm a, I'm a, Josh is ready. I'm a Tampa Bay Buccaneer fan. Now. I go with the whoever wins. I guess. I'm a winner. He's, yeah. I always no, go with the underdog. Kidding. I don't really know. But uh, here's uh, he, uh, our winner. is uh, Speaking of winners. Yes. Nick Gambino. Nick, Nick Gambino. Gambino. Congratulations. You won that $50 gift card to Mascot Workwear. Yeah. Guys, we have a lot of fantastic, fun prizes uh, all week long. We have some great stuff coming up for our next game show. If you don't have the app And some really yet, new stuff, too, that you're going to love to see. Yeah, and if you don't have the app downloaded yet, you're not going to win them. So that's the whole point, right? So go download the app. It's free. Uh, you're uh, No ads, no nothing like that. You just play uh, for your chance to win. And then if you get nine correct guesses throughout the month, you're entered for the tool of the month, which is what this month? What's the tool of the month this month? The tool of the month this month. You want to know the tool of the month for yeah. this month? He's trying to, he's stalling. What was it? It was the, it was the uh, I forget. It's the Unilite. The Unilite. Actually, let me show you real quick. Okay. Let me real show you. Real quick now. Yeah. We're it's the big, it's, it's the big Unilite. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is, this is not just a light, guys. This is a big light yeah. and a speaker. Yeah. It's Bluetooth actually, speaker. and a battery bank. It's Look an, at this. It's boom, awesome. Boom, really bright. Boom. Uh, I got price right, this. Tear it down. I can't and, see. And it's a speaker. Literally Bluetooth to your phone. And you have speakers. You can listen to mass music. You can use it as a battery bank. And all sorts of things. This is what you're playing for. And it's, how much is this? A couple hundred bucks? Yeah, a few hundred. Uh, 100, 250. So get out there. Try and win this. And there's always another tool of the month. All throughout the week, we have giveaways, guys. Thanks for playing. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being patient with us. Our technology issues there with Instagram. We'll have that fixed for next time. You don't have to worry about it. We'll, we'll see, see you guys time. again soon here on What Tools Inside. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I wish I could say goodbye, but I just don't see it. I'm going to switch over here to see if I can't see some people. Thanks for joining, everybody.